Uh, this is a scientific news. For the first time, scientists have a sequence, a complete human genome, a landmark fit that will help researchers better understand how DNA is different from person to person and the role genetics play in disease. Good, very good. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, because they should also understand that disease, meaning this is, meaning they do something not easy on the body. Yes, mm -hmm. master. Yes, master. Like eating meat, drinking alcohol, and taking drugs and all that. That is not the food for the body. It is not the way we should treat the temple of God. Mm, no, master. That's why it's uh, getting damaged, damaged, damaged. Understand. Yeah, no matter if they understand the genome, the destiny is different. The karma is different. Mm. Yes, master. Some people get cured because their punishment is over mm. through that sickness. Just for that period, just for some sin, not all. So some people are not because they don't have enough merit to cover. Mm. Yes, Master. Or the sin is too big, so the operation or whatever understanding of genome and DNA won't help. Mm. Human scientists have to understand the root of all suffering on earth, of all disease. That is the retribution that we have caused for ourselves by living a very abnormal life. That's right, Master. Right. Non-violence is the answer. And then all diseases will be no more. Mm. War will not exist. Oh. Famine will not be understood <laughs> <laughs> anymore. And uh, pandemics, whatever, will never show up again. Yes. yes, Master. The world would be a paradise, could have been a paradise so easy to become a paradise. If everyone leaves everyone else in peace and helps only when necessary, but not to come in and take and invade and cause suffering, just to win, just to boast, just to get a few praises from these fat butters, then the world would be good. That's the only cure we must have, non-violence. Mm, yes. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. That's the only genome we should have. Yes, indeed.